So I just ended the scatter plot discussion with one of the limitations of Tableau, and I was talking about the inability of putting the R squared on the graphic shown here. And, and the idea is to be able to use the, the page shelf to iterate through um, a number of data sets. And so the, in that example, I was showing how the ensemble formulation of R squared that you get is for all the data sets together. So you have 41,000 and the reason that is is because all the time periods are turned on here but yet even though with the page shelf I'm only using one of the time periods and the, the individual trend line is correct, the ensemble uh, calculated values um, are not what I'm looking for. And of course I can I can get the correct values by just turning on the January 11-12 um, data set by itself and if I describe that trend model here is that correct R squared of 0.456 that I mentioned in the previous video. So I can get the information that I need but it forces me to um, I could probably figure out how to turn make the quick filter be consistent with the page shelf so if I want to go to the to the next time period if I want to go to February um, I'd have to come over and turn on February 11 shut off January 12 and now I get the trend model uh, I got R squared of point, uh, point zero or point seven zero. I could paste that put it on here create another one but the whole idea is that I'm having to do manual intervention on these. Uh, Tableau has the ability to give me the correct statistics but I have to either uh, recreate this scatter plot page, duplicate this page and put the correct settings on for each one, cut and paste the R squareds on each one, but if you have a large number of files that's where, or a large number of comparisons, that's where the inefficiencies come in. And that's why um, a different perspective and a little bit more development in Tableau could probably get us to where it would want to be. So I didn't want to leave uh, the users with the impression that you can't get what you what you want. You can, but it just requires you to manually change uh, your perspective here. So if I want to go into March, I go into March, click over here, and now I've got a new trend model. You can get the statistics for this one, 0.65. You can see it's changing from month to month. So if anybody has any ideas on how to make this happen in an automated way, I sure would like to know. Um, I might experiment with using parameters and I don't know. So I, I, might, I might play around with this to see if I can come up with a solution. If I can, I'll, I'll publish and add another video. Thanks again for listening.